Hi, you are on Blockchain State. I am Alexey Konoshevich. I'll review hardware backups for Seed Phrase in this series of videos. Today I'm playing with Seed Plate. It's a simple tool to store your mnemonic phrase for your cryptocurrency wallet. If you don't know what a Seed, mnemonic or a magic phrase is, you're welcome to this video. Otherwise, let's get started. The first thing you notice is unpretentious package. No fancy boxes, no instructions, no brand logos, nothing. Nothing to attract the attention of someone who is not supposed to know what it is. And frankly, I like it. It's a gold standard in the field of security. So if you like expensive packages or intend to present it as a gift, I'm sorry to disappoint you. This tool was not created for entertainment. It has one job which it performs well. So inside you see 5 by 3 inches or 12 by 7 centimeters plate. It's a stainless steel, thick, solid and quite heavy. Like all the devices of this class, it is supposed to withstand various disasters like water, fire, mechanical impacts, etc. There is a table on each side of the plate where columns are numbered, so you can store between 12 to 24 words. 12 words on each side and each row is a letter of the English alphabet. As you can see, you have only 4 letters per word. That's because the BIP39 standards need only the first 4 letters of a word. For instance, if one of the words is napkin, you store only napk. If you have a three-letter word, for example, mad, you store just these three letters and leave one cell blank. Now the question is how you mark these cells. There is a tool called center punch that makes deep dents in the metal. Unfortunately, this tool is not supplied with the product. You have to buy it separately. You can buy it on the same website, it costs $12.99, or you can find them in any local hardware store. To be honest, I didn't know that such a tool even existed. Here is how it works. You choose a cell and push the center punch until the sting punches the surface. You see? It's quite a dent in the middle plate. Let's look inside the center punch. There is an internal spring that makes this powerful shot. Simple as that. Let's take another shot. I don't mark the actual cells as this is a disposable device. Once it's marked, you cannot edit it. Compared to editable devices, here you can engrave a seed only once. So, if you want to change your wallet, you need a new plate. People can think that editable is better. But the strong argument in favor of disposable is that it offers protection against accidental phrase change or loss. Kids or anyone, including yourself, can mess up the seed. In my AirPod check rank, this device is in the lowest position among all the devices. What do I mean by airport check? Suppose you move to another place, you obviously cannot leave the plate unattended. So you have to take it with you on the flight. When you pass the security check in the airport, this device can attract the officer's attention. And you will have to present and explain what the heck it is. There are two problems with this. First. It's awkward. People usually don't carry a large, heavy piece of metal in their pockets. And secondly, the seed phrase will be exposed immediately you show the device to the officer. Of course, the officer is unlikely to memorize the phrase, but there are video cameras all around you. Say goodbye to your cryptocurrency. If you would like to know more about other devices that are suitable for airport security check, find the links to my reviews videos in the description. Thank you. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. This is how you support my channel and show your gratitude. 
this wasn't a sponsored review post. See you in the next video.